Hello, this is Donna Young. I'm going to take you through the steps of creating a file that you can upload to Google Calendar to display lesson plans. And what we're looking at is the set CSV worksheet, which is a Google Calendar add-on for V Planner version 4. Assuming that you have already set up all the class times, let's move on to the real steps, the steps that you will take every time you, you set this up. First, select the student's name in cell B3. And second, decide whether or not you want to append your student's name to the subject. Choosing yes will cause your student's name to appear in front of the subject. In cell B4, type in a school date. C4 will tell you if it's a school date, and if it's not, it will suggest you look in this list for other dates. In cell B5, choose whether or not this is private or public. I have it currently set to false, so I'm going to choose true. This is all the settings for this page, but before you leave this page, I want you to notice this right here commas commas will break your file if your lesson plans have commas this column will count them and if it has if if anything above zero is not good but I'll show you what to do don't worry so just take note that you're going to have to do a find and replace in the next couple of steps. Next we go to CSV output. And here we're going to just, we're going to copy this page. Okay, next you can either open a new workbook or you can open the file that I provided. It's, it really doesn't matter. It's not going to make a difference. Just uh, click in cell A1 and choose paste and then over here choose values and number formatting choose values and number formatting let's make sure this worked out yeah this worked out good just remember that values and number formatting choose that please okay now what we ended up with is simply text and because it's simply text we can replace the commas so to replace the commas we're going to open the find and replace window I usually just press control F find a comma type that into the find what and in the replace tab let's replace them with a semicolon and choose replace all and it made nine replacements so is that correct I don't remember let's see um, yes it is we had nine okay alright this is ready to save and upload to Google Calendar so let's choose save as and then scroll down a little and choose other formats we're going to name it Billy now this is um, the important part just choose a name and then on the format on the format choose CSV comma delimited that's the one that you're supposed to choose if you don't choose that one it, it probably won't work and pick save and pick OK and then pick yes. Let's see how it renamed this file. Did it rename the tab too? Okay, now let's go to Google Calendars. I had already made a new calendar and named it Lesson Plans, and this is what you see here. These are from my test uploads, but if you want to make a new calendar and name it Lesson Plans or something, um, click on this and create a new calendar and then just type in the new calendar stuff but I don't need to make another calendar so 
what I'm going to do is upload the CVS file. Add other calendars. Click on the little arrow and choose Import Calendar. And go find your file. It's this one named Billy. I'm going to open it. It's right there. So, Import. Oh, I want to select the calendar. I want it to go into Lesson Plans. Okay, it successfully imported 60 events. Okay, now we see that Billy's classes are added. So now we have Bubbles, Billy's, and Bob's classes in here. And so now we'll go to this again, and we'll select classes for Betty. We want the same date. We go to this, and select all of it. Copy it, paste it in, and remember after pasting, be certain, positively certain, that you choose this. If you don't do this, then the comma find and replace won't work. Choose values and number formatting. It's very important. Okay. And then save as, scroll down to other formats, next, now we're going to call it Betty, comma, delimited is already selected, pick save, pick OK, and yes. You return to Google Calendar, other calendars, import calendar, choose Betty and put it in the correct calendar and import and close. Now we have all of our people in here. It's all done. Thank you.